Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with like an awesome tutorial. It's gonna be very vibrant, no rules, just makeup, and I'm so excited to do this. I'm just gonna get started. Warms the soul. So ladylike, you gotta be ladylike 100% of the time. So yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and take my foundation out of my bra because my office is cold. And I'm just, no primers, no nothing, just foundation. So I think that's probably not enough. I might have to do two coats. So I'm just going to take it with my fingers. And I'm just going to place it all over my face. Now this is a matte foundation. And because I have dry skin, I want my skin to stick to it. And even if it looks crackly, ain't no shame in my game. I'm just going to... Put this all over my face. Even if it covers your brows, it's okay because you're gonna draw them in. Can't forget your eyeballs or eyes, you know, eye, what's this? I don't know. Make sure you stop the foundation right here. You don't, you don't want it down your neck or anything like that. Um, yeah, and if the foundation's a little darker or a little lighter, it's okay. You just keep going. You just keep blending that foundation until, you know, it's in the skin. You want it, you want it to like be your skin, like a mask on top of your skin. So even if you see, you know, put it on there, put it right over my lips because the drier your lips, the better. The lipstick will stick um, to your, uh, lips yeah this might take you hours to blend this foundation but you want full coverage now that my face is just one dimension and everything looks even and everything matches minus the neck i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows so i'm gonna take a really dark reddish brown color and i'm gonna take a brush normally i don't care what it is and you just pack it on you just pack it on no tapping off you just pack it on the brush and you just draw your brows in. You just wing it. You go dip, sash, like that. If you have to move your head so that it goes, you just do it like that. That's the easiest way to do it. Yeah. You want an arch? You make your arch however you want to. There's no rules to this stuff. You go ahead and you fill them in. We like uh, thick brows, so we're going to go ahead and do some thick Instagram brows. As you can see there. Look at that. I, I made my arch. I don't know, it's not dark enough for me, so you can pile on the product however you want. So you do the same thing to the other brow. You just pretty much fill them in to like how you see fit. You know, there's no rules to this. You just, you make your arch however you want to. You move your face with it. Move your face with the brush like that. Like that. You don't even have to look in the mirror. Look at these brows, girl. Yes! So, I don't know. Maybe because it's winter or whatever, I want to do, like, some blue eyeshadow. So, I think every basic girl has blue eyeshadow. So, I'm just going to take my finger and no base or nothing. And I'm just going to pack it on my lid. You don't have to. This isn't an art. You just put it on your freaking eye. Screw it. Screw that shit. Just pack it on. You just pack it on. You use your middle finger because that's that's the best finger to use is this finger right here. It's that finger. That finger right there. You just pack it on. It's okay if you get some on your face. We're going to powder. And, you know, you can blend it to the crease if you want. But there's no rules to this. Just make sure it's on your lid. I think everyone should wear blue eyeshadow. Everyone should wear blue eyeshadow. It's okay if you miss a couple spots if it doesn't look even. Whatever. You know, you make the look. You make the look unique. You put some under your eye like that so that you can make, you know, blend the look together. You just put it, you don't need, you don't need a brush. You just, you just put it like right under your lash line, like right there. And you just tie up the look and you could just kind of blend it. Just make it work. What the hell? Who cares? It's your eyes. I'm going to take the deeper blue. 
put that on too. Why not? And then take the brighter blue again. The eyes usually take the longest, but you know, you just want it to work. You want to look your best you. If you look like a member from the Smurfs, it's okay because the Smurfs were awesome. I love the Smurfs. Okay, so I'm going to take a really glittery, shimmery eyeshadow. Um, and you know what? I'm not even going to like care how much product I put because this is so beautiful. I want it all over. So I'm going to take the shimmeriest eyeshadow I have and I'm going to place it under my eyebrow for like that Bam Pow highlight that everybody needs to have under their brows like that. Like look at that. That's that's sick. That's sexy right there. You know what? Take some of that and just like sprinkle it everywhere. Just put it on your face for a highlight cuz it doesn't matter. It's it's shimmery so it goes. It goes with everything. Just put it right at the center of your nose cuz you want a highlight. You want to make it pop? Yes. Yes, please. There's no such thing as too much. So you just take the same eyeshadow. It's okay because it's shimmery and it's the shimmeriest thing you have and it goes everywhere. If I can put glitter all over me, I would. I take the thickest powder I have, the cakiest powder I have, and just put it on my face. Put that all over the face. And you're, if your skin starts cracking, that's okay. That just... That just shows how how great of a mask you have. You want it to look like you put effort in, that you put makeup on because that's what it's for. Makeup is amazing, amazing. Now I'm gonna go ahead with my eyeliner. You just take any eyeliner. It doesn't have to be soft, doesn't have to be, you know, it could be whatever color, but I picked a black one. And um, you can go ahead and uh, flick your Bic and uh, light that thing on fire, melt it. Flick your Bic again. That's it. You just melt it. Melt it to a round ball. Just take it under the eye. And it's okay if it burns a little bit. It's alright. That's pain is beauty. Put it like right down here. Just take another black eyeliner that you have. Your darkest one ever. And just... Just line your bottom lash line and go on the waterline too. You want to give definition to those eyes. You want them, you want the darkness of your soul to come right out and say, hello, how are you? How are you? It doesn't even have to be a straight line. You could just put your eyeliner on with no care in the world because who cares? They're your eyes. I'm just going to go ahead. I mean, I don't even have to sharpen the pencil. I just put the eyeliner on. I mean, it's it's scratching me a little bit, but again, pain is beauty. Oh, it's okay if the wood hits your eye. I mean, it just it just means you love the pencil so much you use it. You don't even care to sharpen it. I'm just going to smudge it and just bring it out. It's okay if you cry too. I think it adds a little bit more character when you have the tear stains going down your face. It's okay. I'm going to use like a really orange based bronzer and I'm just going to contour like that and I'm going to take it all the way to my lip. Doesn't matter how wide the line is. You just want to you just want to give those cheekbones a lift. Get on your forehead. Cuz you want to add color. I just want that Kim K look. Is this so hard? No, it's not. You just do this. Contour your nose? Sure. Do whatever you want. I'm going to take the same brush and add some blush. Doesn't matter how much because you want to look happy. You want to look like you are alive. We can add more highlight. I can use the same I can use the same eyeshadow because it's so shimmery and so pretty. I'm going to take the same brush. I mean, there's no reason. Oh, man, this Kim K look. It's like sick. I can't get over it. So opposite of the color wheel of blue is orange. So I want to go with orange lips because I just want to look fantastic. I'm just going to take any orange lips and not even bother lining my lips because, I mean, this is pigmented. So it does all the work for you, right? No rules to makeup, boo. No rules to makeup. 
And if you get some on your teeth, that's okay. That just shows dedication to like your look. I love this color so much that I don't care if it gets on my teeth. It's okay to not look in the mirror at all for the rest of the day. You just keep on living, okay? Do you. Then after the lipstick, you put on some mascara. Any mascara will do. If it's waterproof, you know, no. You want it to go everywhere. I, I honestly wish I could have put on my blue mascara, but I can't find it. I think I sold it to somebody. I don't even know. Find my blue mascara from like the 80s. You don't even have to look in the mirror to put on your mascara. You just put it on. I'm not looking in the mirror. Just put it on your face. Okay, if you scratch your eyeball with the brush too, that's, that's okay too. Shit happens. What can you do? Look. It's okay if you get it on your face. Just tell them it's a mole. Uh, that's a birthmark. Don't make fun of me, asshole. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this makeup tutorial. I think everyone can wear a blue eyeshadow. Just make sure you have the shimmeriest, most glittery eyeshadow. You put that under your brow, and it just gives you, like, the best, like, highlight under your brows. And those Instagram brows, girl, you need those Instagram brows. The thicker, the better. The darker, the better. It just needs to be one color. Like, there should be no dimension on your face until you start adding more and more products. So, I mean, that's just, like, how I do my makeup. So I can't even see out of my eyeballs right now because my contacts are so blurry. So, I think I did a fantastic job anyway. Oh. Oh wow, easy. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even take myself seriously right now. I just look really good in the mirror. I cannot see because my contacts are so blurred from the eyeliner and God knows what else is in there. They're very uncomfortable right now. And I scratched my eyeball a few times with the mascara one, which happens naturally anyway. But um, I hope you guys don't take this video so seriously. It's meant to be in fun. But if you take it seriously and you have a problem with it, then um, just X it out. It's okay. I ain't butthurt about it, so don't be. Um, these are just pretty much things I think all of us have done to one point or another. Um, even myself, not to this extreme. But, you know, go big or go home, right? I'm just having fun with this video. I don't think I've ever done something like this. And uh, I've been wanting to for a very, very long time. And I finally just did it. What not to do in makeup and how not to look. Honey, if you look anything like this, you probably can't sit with me. Just can't, cause no. That's pretty much it guys. I'm gonna go and oh my God, wash my face, take out my contacts and edit this video and see how much of a hot mess I really look. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.